This is Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. We're at the Rams training facility in Thousand Oaks where they finally got into the action in the NFL draft on Friday evening. After sitting out two rounds, Gary, they actually traded down from number 87 to number 89. Pick up offensive tackle Joseph Noteboom from Texas Christian University. Les Snead was so aggressive in the offseason with trades and acquisitions, of course they had to make a draft day trade. But Noteboom gives them depth on the offensive line. Andrew Whitworth, he's playing at an elite level. He's a pro bowler, but he's not getting any, un any younger. Mm -hmm. He's going to be 36 this season. So Noteboom comes in. He's played both tackle spots. He has some versatility there, and he can learn at the elbow of Whitworth. Les Snead doesn't want to tip his hand or show his cards or what they're going to do the rest of the draft, but he said you guys have some common sense. We did have some common sense. We predicted that offensive line pick. The Rams have eight more picks, three in the fourth round, the remainder there in the sixth round. Gary, I think they're going to go for some guys off the edge. And what about a couple linebackers? I think that's good common sense there. The Rams need to replace guys like Robert Quinn, Alec Ogletree. They are short on linebackers. Mm -hmm. And ideally, they want someone who can come off the edge. Samson Ebucom, a draftee last year, is probably going to step in for Quinn. But they need more depth there. After a slow first two days, day three is bound to pick up. If not, the Rams might just trade themselves completely <laughs> out of the draft, and that'll be that. Okay, with Gary Klein, I'm Lindsay Theory. We'll see you Saturday from the Rams facility in Thousand Oaks.